Hi guys, this is Satek from Droidman.com. So when it comes to the Android ecosystem, if you talk about the technical domain, then most of the tech enthusiasts usually interact with the fast boot mode the maximum number of times. Whether it is the unlocking of bootloader, flashing the firmware via fast boot commands, or even rooting your device by flashing the matches fast boot image file, for all of these tasks you will need to boot your device to fast boot mode. But by default, Windows will not be able to recognize your device in the fast boot mode. This is because it does not have the drivers installed. So you will first have to install the fast boot drivers on your Windows 11 PC. And in this video, we will show you how to do just that. Follow along. So your first course of action should be to enable USB debugging on your device. For that, go to settings menu. Then scroll to about device. Go to version and tap on build number 7 times. You should get a notification that you are now a developer. Then go back, go to system, and you should now see developer option. Go there and now enable the toggle next to USB debugging. After that, tap on OK. So now your next course of action is to download and install the Android SDK platform tools. The link for that has been given in the description. You can go there and download it. Once you have downloaded, extract to anywhere on your PC and you should get the following files. Now connect your phone to your PC via USB cable. It is advised that you use USB 2.0 port and not USB 3.0 port. Likewise, you should use the official USB cable that came with your phone. If that is not possible, then at least use a USB cable that supports data transfer. Now once the USB debugging is enabled and your device has been connected to your PC, let's now show you how to install these drivers. So to begin with, download the Android bootloader interface drivers. These are the fast boot drivers given by Google. So download it and extract it anywhere on your PC. As for this guide, I have extracted it on my desktop. You could see these are the USB driver folders, files. So this is the USB driver that we need. And this is the Android SDK platform tools. So first and foremost, you will have to boot the device to fast boot mode. Now there are quite a few ways of doing so. But I will opt the way that is applicable across all the Android devices. And that is the Android ADB command mode. So first and foremost, go to the platform tool folder, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch a command prompt with the platform tools folder directory. Now let's verify the ADB devices mode. So the connection has been established successfully. Next up, let's now boot the device to fast boot mode via ADB reboot boot booter command. As soon as you do so, your device will now boot to fast boot mode. But from now onwards, our PC will not be able to identify this device. Let me show what I mean. See, on my device, it has been booted to fast boot mode. But if I type the command of fast boot devices on my PC, my PC should show blank. Yes, it is unable to recognize the device because there are no drivers installed. Let me re verify the same from the device manager. So press Windows X and then select device manager after that as you could see currently my device is shown as android device with a yellow exclamation mark and it is being showing in other devices section this means my pc is not able to identify this device so what i need to do is now install these drivers to re recall the drivers are same as i have shown here usb driver files and these are the files out of which i have to install the android one usb file so once you have opened device manager, select your Android device, right click on it and then choose update driver. After that, select browse my computer for drivers. Then click on let me pick from a list of drivers. After that, select show all devices and click next. Then click on have disk. After that, browse to the USB folder, which in our case is desktop, USB driver. Open this folder and then select the Android Win USB.inf file and click open. Now click OK. And after that, you will see a list of three drivers. Out of this, the Android bootloader interface is the fastboot driver. So select it and click next. You will now get a warning message. Click on yes. It will now install the drivers, and as you could see, the drivers have been installed successfully. As soon as you do so, your device should now come Android, Android bootloader interface. This signifies that the installation has been successful. To re-verify the same, 
let's now open command prompt and again type the fastboot devices command this time you should now see a serial id so this means the connection has been established successfully and you could now execute the whatever fastboot command you want for example i will now be reboot my device to the os via fastboot reboot and it should work so guys this was all from this video on how you could install the fastboot drivers on the windows pc if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.